Hey guys, um, just want to talk to you a little bit today about your marketing. Um, a lot of people I know who kind of have come into the internet marketing field, if you like. Um, as they're going along through the learning, you can guess there's a couple of pitfalls there, I suppose. One is just getting caught up in the learning. You know that you spend so much of your time trying to know it all before you start. Um, and that's the first thing that I would say to you is start. Start before you know it. Because whenever you do something, you make progress, you get some sort of result, and then you can keep going, make the better decisions the next time. Um, one of the things I really struggled with with my marketing was that whole thing of a lot of the things that brought me into internet marketing and really turned me off internet marketing are, you know, the, the cash claims, the car claims, the fancy lifestyle. Um, but for most people who are, you know, working in a job, you know, and living some sort of a normal life, all those things are just pipe dreams. You can't connect with them. Um, but I found myself, shall we say, six or eight months into my journey, and I was using all the same crap marketing that I really didn't like. And ultimately what that meant was I was going to bring in a lot of people that I don't really want to work with. Because if you're attracted to that sort of thing and you've got that sort of mindset, I don't really want to work with you. So I think... For me, it's just getting back to that thing of find out whatever it is that that turns you on, that lights you up, that you really like. Because once you get back to that and just be authentic with your messaging, and um, people can really feel that and it comes out. So instead of starting off your message like with, oh, I want to know how to earn 10 grand a week, that when you bring it around to, well, telling your story of your internet marketing and how you got on with that and where you were, People can relate to that because you're just a bit further ahead than they are. They can relate to those sort of ideas and the things that you have in that and the struggles you went through really. And that if you bring it back to that level of things, then you have some chance of actually bringing in people who will be a pleasure to work with. Bringing in the right people and attracting the right audience. And that for me was the exciting thing. But... For me, and for I'd say a lot of people come onto this, essentially they want somebody else to give them the key. Here you go, here's the key, this is going to make your business work. It just doesn't work that way. Until you actually get to re the realisation that if you're not authentic and you're not putting out the stuff with the right mentality and the right belief and actually want to help other people, that if you're not doing that, things are probably not going to work out the way you think they will. So just get back to that thing of being yourself and getting over that hump of, how would you put it, the fear of putting yourself out there. That was one of the things for me I found early on was that just that fear of, what if I suddenly I know reads this or watches the video or whatever it is. But it's like, the majority of the time you put stuff out there and for the first while, you're going to get no reactions. Nothing's going to happen. The world doesn't stop spinning. So start today, you know, pick something you really like. You know, make a video about it, make a blog about it, whatever it is. Because essentially, if you talk about things that really excite you, that comes across in your writing, that comes across in your videos, and that most of all, that comes across in you. And that that's what people will actually, that's what they love about you, is that you're not perfect. You know, you have made mistakes, you've screwed up, you know, and you have done whatever it is you've done in your experiences in your past. And then when you get back to that, that's all people want. Someone they can connect with and someone they can feel that, oh, he has some of the same things that I have or gone through some of the same things that I've gone through. And then when you bring it back to that level, that's what it's all about. It's about just communicating with people and like-minded people. So if you actually tell your own story instead of telling somebody else's story, you get to talk with an awful lot of people who are very similar to you. Some days it'll be spooky how similar, but that's what it comes down to. The moment you put yourself out there, people respect you for that. People respect you for not being spammy and scammy and using all the flashing lights and push-button money solutions. People respect you for that. So that's what I would say to you is just kind of, just get out there. You know, whether it's blogging, whether it's videos, whatever way your marketing is, get out there and be authentic and tell your story. Because you're interesting and you have a good story. I don't want to sell someone else's story because it's not authentic to me. I want to sell my story. I want to tell people my story and my journey. Because that's cool and I know it and I can relate to it. And people who relate to that will relate to me. 